Would you believe it? Why does more advanced incineration technology lead to less trash to burn in China? Would you believe it? Think back to 2009, when the stench from the 460 landfills documented in Beijing besieged by waste seemed to linger. The mountains of openly dumped refuse and groundwater contaminated by leachate once plunged the city into an environmental crisis. Yet, 14 years later, China finds itself in the awkward position of having 107 waste incinerators struggling for feedstock. These city cleaners, meant to run 24 hours a day, have an annual idle rate of over 50%. On one side is the desperation of a city once encircled by garbage, and on the other, the absurdity of incinerator doors standing closed. This dramatic reversal in environmental management has completely upended traditional perceptions of waste disposal. The secret code, from trash burden to energy gold mine. The core secret to this transformation is hidden in the garbage pressure cooker in Songhua, Guangzhou. This facility uses supercritical incineration technology, which instantly pushes pressure up to 13 MPa and temperature to 485 ring operator C, essentially creating a Lousy's elixir furnace for waste. Under these extreme conditions, the energy density of the steam generated from waste combustion is significantly boosted. Where one ton of garbage previously generated only 300 kilowatt hours of electricity, it can now squeeze out an extra 100 kilowatt hours, directly elevating thermal efficiency from 35% to 45%. Residential waste, once considered a municipal burden, has been transformed by technology into an endless energy gold mine. As supercritical technology tore open the breakthrough for waste resource utilization, AI intelligent systems followed, going into full throttle. By real-time monitoring of thousands of sensor data points within the incinerator, AI algorithms precisely regulate oxygen levels and feed rate, boosting the grid-connected electricity output per ton of waste by another 4.2%. Even more astonishing is the fast process developed in Shanghai, a magic touch that transforms ash into gold, chemically extracting and calcining the fly ash generated from combustion into industrial salt with a purity of 98%. This not only solves the problem of fly ash landfilling but also achieves a 95% reduction in waste sent to landfills. From power generation to resource recovery, modern technology is eating up and squeezing dry. The trash, leading to the sweet problem of the more advanced, the less fuel. But as China's waste treatment technology achieves a curve overtaking leap, why do developed countries in Europe and the US still maintain a landfill rate as high as 40%? Is the trash shortage brought about by technological iteration a medal of environmental victory or the fuse for a hidden crisis? This text will unveil the deeper secrets behind the global technology race concerning resource circularity, industrial competition, and the logic of survival. I. The China-U.S. contrast, while China burns. Gold. The U.S. still buries waste. The U.S. waste management data for 2024 is startling. 75.4% of waste is directly buried, the incineration rate is only 15.3%, and recycling is a mere 9.3%. New York City ships 2 million trucks of garbage annually to landfills in other states, the energy equivalent of burying 45 million barrels of crude oil. In contrast, the extra electricity generated by the Tsonghua incinerator in Guangzhou in one year can power 250,000 households for six months. Even more ironic is that the U.S. is not unaware of advanced technology. Europe has been using clean incineration plants for power and heating for over a decade with emissions lower than backyard barbecues, yet the U.S. prefers to waste land rather than upgrade its equipment. The American landfill dependency across the ocean exposes an alarming fatal flaw. With 9.37 million square kilometers of vast territory and a sparse population, the inherent advantage of ample land has paradoxically become a breeding ground that hinders the innovation of waste treatment technology. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, Approximately 54% of U.S. municipal solid waste still relies on landfills, and the methane emitted from these landfills accounts for 5.5% of America's energy-related greenhouse gas emissions. 
This short-sighted behavior is akin to drinking poison to quench thirst. Methane's global warming potential is 28 to 36 times that of CO2. As the Paris Agreement's emission reduction targets advance, the U.S. is pushing itself into a dual predicament of environmental governance and energy transition. In contrast, China was once threatened by the Sword of Damocles in the form of cities surrounded by waste. In 2010, the mountains of garbage piled high around Beijing's landfills reached tens of meters, occupying over 10,000 acres of land, with stench and pollution threatening residents' lives. But crisis often breeds opportunity. Driven by policy and technological breakthroughs, China forged a unique path. Ultra-high-pressure compaction technology tripled the density of waste, greatly reducing transportation and disposal costs. AI intelligence sorting systems broke through 98% accuracy, identifying different materials like plastic, metal, and fabric in milliseconds, boosting the resource recovery rate from under 20% to 65%. Today, China's waste-to-energy installed capacity has exceeded 17 million kilowatts, with annual power generation equivalent to one-sixth of the Three Gorges Dam, truly transforming an environmental burden into an energy trump card. This stark contrast confirms the truth. In an era of tightening resource constraints and escalating environmental pressure, technological iteration is no longer an optional choice but a matter of survival concerning national competitiveness and human existence. As China's waste treatment technology achieves the leap from follower to leader, America's obstinacy is causing it to miss the golden opportunity to participate in this global energy revolution. 2. The EU's Dilemma Sweden Scrambling for Trash And Germany Pining for upgrades. The EU seems smarter than the US, having cut its landfill rate from 64% to 25.3%, with waste energy accounting for 28.4%. However, it still can't escape the technological bottleneck. Due to its successful recycling efforts, Sweden doesn't have enough domestic waste to burn, forcing it to import 800,000 tons of trash from Norway annually for heating. Yet, its incineration technology has a 10% lower thermal efficiency than China's, generating nearly 100 kilowatt-hours less electricity per ton of waste. Germany has an even bigger headache. 10 of its 50-plus incinerators are antiques from the 1960s, with abysmal pollution control and efficiency. Desperate for modernization but lacking new technology, they eventually allowed China's Beijing Enterprises to acquire Germany's largest waste incineration company for 1.4 billion euros to seek a breakthrough. As the EU is deeply entangled in its waste management predicament, this mirror of reality relentlessly reflects a core truth. Relying solely on traditional recycling models cannot truly break the waste crisis dilemma. Even with a relatively complete recycling system, technological lag can still lead to the awkward situation of being Unable to cook a meal without rice. Like being starving, in the resource processing race. On the other side of the globe, China, with its remarkable speed and innovation, has successfully constructed a complete and efficient waste treatment system. China has not only adequately addressed its own massive waste disposal needs but, leveraging its independently developed fast fly ash treatment technology, it transforms fly ash, once considered a difficult waste to manage, into usable building materials through a unique high-temperature melting and solidification process. AI incineration technology, relying on intelligent algorithms, achieves precise control over the incineration process, significantly boosting energy conversion efficiency. This has driven waste treatment to a cross-generational upgrade from simple reduction to a new dimension of resource utilization. 3. Global Shift how is Chinese technology rewriting the waste rules, while the US and Europe are still arguing over landfill or incineration? China has already taken its technology global. Chongqing Sanfeng Environmental has installed its incinerators in over a hundred projects in the US, Thailand, and other countries. Everbright Environment has built energy hubs in Vietnam and Uzbekistan. Even Southeast Asian nations know that Chinese technology can help them skip the landfill trap. More powerfully, Chinese technology is not only highly efficient but also people-friendly. 
Shanghai's fast process can be implemented by modifying existing equipment, costing half as much as foreign high-temperature melting processes, and generating revenue by turning fly ash into industrial salt. This instantly stripped away the competitiveness of expensive Western technology. The global wave of Chinese waste treatment technology exports is not mere commercial expansion. It is the systemic export of a sustainable development solution. This technological leap is the vibrant outcome of China's over two decades of crisis-driven innovation. From the cities surrounded by waste predicament around 2000 to now having the world's largest waste-to-energy network, from early reliance on imported equipment to independently developed technology taking root in over 30 countries in Southeast Asia and Africa. Data shows that the cost of China's independently developed waste treatment equipment is 40% lower than comparable Western products, while processing efficiency is three times higher. This Chinese solution is redefining the competitive rules of the global environmental industry. As of today, the world generates 2.1 billion tons of municipal solid waste annually, and the proliferation of Chinese technology offers a new possibility for solving this century-old challenge.